one. We have a mister right here and one a little bit further down if you'd like to look inside. So this is misting our plant roots with all the plant nutrients and water that they need. You'll also notice our roots are just free hanging out there. So they don't need any extra type of soil. The only support they have are these metal poles that you see here. And if you need to pull your feet inside, sometimes the squash leaves kind of come out of nowhere and hit you. So <laughs> Across the way, that is our aquaponics system. So we currently have tilapia on the bottom and snapdragons on the top, which are starting to bloom now. And so this is a beneficial relationship between both the fish and the plant. Stationary. But we grow a lot more leafy greens and smaller crops in there, so it's a much faster to grow. And it has over 8,000 plants in it, which is a lot of plants to put a small amount of space over there. Something that's being done more in office buildings now and in big cities. You can have fresh produce without having to travel far distance or any pesticides or chemicals to it because it will be just growing wherever it's going to be harvested. Right here, and as that plant travels by, it'll get off the sensor and it'll miss the inside of the palm pot. It is just hollow in there, so we're to be free hanging just like our squash, but inside of the palm pot instead. We will have a lot of our herbs and our edible flowers out here. All the flowers you see in here, you could actually eat, which I think is awesome. So, like candies, carnations, violas, all of those. Right here, these are our violas, and they are being used on one of the frozen lemonade drinks out in the Flower and Garden Festival. So if you buy one of those, you'll actually get one of our flowers on top of it, and you can eat it. Oh, that is actually perfect. He's not going to 
his leaves, which is pretty awesome. Nobody really knows why they do it, and they think if a pest lands on it, maybe it would scare it off, but nobody knows the exact reason. Also, if you were to shake one of the branches, you just have to be careful it does have spikes on it. They have to pull up the entire branch, and it only takes about 20 minutes for him to back up. It's one of the fastest moving plants in the plant kingdom. It's one of my favorites. Also, make these adorable little purple flowers, too. It's called a sensitive plant, or most of the people have. That's his lab name, but if you type in sensitive plant, it will definitely come up. That was so cool. I mean, I have very little interest or knowledge about gardening and plants and stuff. That's really, really interesting, the stuff that they tell you. So I would highly recommend it. It's only $25, and it's really, really good fun. I am not sure what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go outside and maybe do the seas, and then maybe get some food. Okay, so it's a 30 minute wait time for the seas. So what I'm going to do is skip the ride and if you go in through the shop at the back, you can just go straight in. Busy in here today. Oh, look at these guys. Seahorses, look at that one. Chili pepper for arthritis, parsley for digestion, rose for colds, sage for digestion and throat issues, peppermint for digestion, marigold for skin, and aloe vera for skin. Wow! These are all edible flowers. And these are all flowers that attract pollinators. Wow, that's tobacco. One in the building here too. It's a big one. It's a big grill. 
Yeah, I wonder why they use commodities yeah. as pain relief. Alright, it's time for my Figment Fast Pass. Um, I'm I really want to do all the tokiris and stuff, um, but I'm hungry and I want to go to Japan for lunch. So I think I'm going to do figment, then I'll go around to Japan and then I'll probably work my way back round, do some more tokiris and stuff and then go to Mexico round. Um, and for food after lunch I'm going to be doing food and uh, flower and garden stall stuff like food and wine. I apologise if my filming's a bit off, I've got sunglasses on so I can't really see the screen. I feel all of this. That is stunning. If I wasn't so hungry I would stop and photograph. I'll come back later. Oh, 
so weird to me. I never come this way around. I always go around to Mexico first. Um, I've got my uh, gift card. I put $40 on it because I'm here for two days. So oh I figured that I'll be able to get $40 worth of food in two days. <laughs> There's my home. Isn't it beautiful? So I'm gonna check out here and see last time the fresh Florida had a really gorgeous key lime wine. Oh, they've got it again. So I don't normally drink when I'm here by myself because I drive. But I'm going to have lunch and then I'm going to come and get one of them because then it's going to be like eight hours and a whole lot of food um, before I have to drive home. Because that key lime wine is mm, it's the best thing ever. Here we go. We're in Japan. Wow, it's full. So here I am. How's that for a view? Welcome. That was delicious. I highly recommend that. It's better than China. So if you're looking for, for like an Asian rice meat dish, come to the Casa Grill instead of the Lotus Boxer Cafe. It's much, much nicer. I love this whole place. It's weird because I've been up here before, so I don't know how I didn't know that this place existed. There you go. So this place it has the fruit sheet, pineapple, strawberry and melon rolled with raspberry coconut rice sprinkled with toasted coconut and wrapped whipped cream on the side. I'm going to get that. This is cute. Okay, so this is it, the famous fruit sheet. Let's enjoy it. That was delicious. So one of the reasons I like Florida is key lime pie and key lime wine. This is sparkling key lime wine which is absolutely delicious. If you don't like sweet things I wouldn't recommend it because it's very very sweet but it is delicious. Well that didn't last long. I'm totally stuffed and now I feel a bit sick. Look at this view though. I really want a doll whip. But I don't think I could even fit like a tic tac in my stomach right now. Okay, so I have my Easter egg hunt map. Uh, as I said to the lady, hopefully it will stop me eating for a little while. <laughs> Give me something else to do. So the aim is you go around to each of the countries and you find the eggs. Once you've found it, you go back and you get a prize. How pretty is this? The three caballeros. Okay. You're on the lookout for an egg. Look 
Look what I found. Let's go ride the ride. Tour. She was talking about all the orchids they had in Mexico. How beautiful are those? I think Mexico is probably my favourite pavilion because it's got so much, including a little duck. So I really hope the egg in Mexico wasn't easy to find. Because I can't find the Norwegian one anywhere. <laughs> so, as you can see, not a lot of people know that you can come inside the church. It's tiny, but um, it's got some costume stuff and it shows you where the inspiration for frozen costumes came from. You know, I've never come down this side of China before. It's so pretty. Just as I was starting to doubt, and I hope I'm not spoiling this for you guys by showing you where they are, but I think by the time I upload these videos, they'll have moved them all anyway. So China is Pluto. Actually, mm, I do need a drinking fountain. I got myself my lychee drink. I'm 
about what I'm going to do the rest of the afternoon. I think I'm probably just going to carry on going around. I haven't done Spaceship Earth yet. And I didn't want to do that. So I need to make sure that I get round with enough time to do that before illuminations. So I just sat down and I was looking at that boat out there and I was like, mm, there's something happening. They're bringing the globe out so they're about to put the bridge up. Here it comes. So the African one's quite easy to spot. I guess they don't have that many places to hide it. This is how I'm doing so far. The only one I haven't found is Norway. Here's old Woody. Here we are back at Japan. So the Morocco one, you've definitely got a distinct advantage if you're walking around World Showcase this way around because it's just up there. Um, if you're walking the other way around it might take a little while to find them. 